Welcome back to another video on the main channel, man. First things for a second channel, almost that, what's it at right now? That matters, subscribe to the second channel, top link in the description. Hey, uh, I'm not feeling too good right now, fellas. Patch two, what 2K is calling, uh, we all thought it was patch three this whole time. It dropped. And I'm not gonna sit here and update you guys on everything that went on in the patch because really nothing of significance happened. Which is kind of frustrating, considering it was a patch we all thought was gonna help polish the game so it becomes more fun to play. But in a lot of instances, it actually did the complete opposite. So there's plenty to talk about here in this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are new to the channel and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit two mil by the end of the year. Uh, kind of like an impossible task, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, I could dream, right? Second thing is second, I am now an Instagram model. I, I want everyone to know that. So brands, hit me up or something like that. I don't know how this works, all right? But I want to make that easy money over on Instagram. Third thing is third, Troy Den has been hacked. Uh, this tweet came out of his Twitter account just a moment ago, and it has me severely concerned. Troy Den, I do hope you get your account back. I wish you the best. This video is brought to you by Postmates. I almost never do like fun random gestures for Walid, and he's been playing Among Us all day, so I think he's in a good mood. So let's make his day even better. Now, I know Walid pretty well. I know for a fact he's gonna like some Chick-fil-A. Ah, uh, frip, the spicy chicken sandwich, ah, ah, ah. And it should be on the way in about 25 minutes. For those who don't know, Postmates is a food delivery app. There's tons of local restaurants available right at your fingertips, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm feeling Chick-fil-A. I think Walid feeling Chick-fil-A, we get some Chick-fil-A. They make the process incredible convenient they even have a no contact option they drop the food off right at your door and leave you be once you order your food on the app you can track it and it'll give you an estimate as to when it's gonna arrive and for me generally I use it just to save time I love Postmates this is about the third time here on this channel alone they've helped sponsor a video and they're looking to plug y'all the screen right now there's a code agent zero zero five off you'll get five dollars off your next order of over fifteen dollars and it expires in ten days that's all the information you need ladies and gentlemen just help you save you some money surprise food Dude! I got some chick flame, man. Ooh, which ad is this? What? What ad? Why are you sitting in the ad? This food. is not an ad. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this... Thank you, Postmates, because he does not buy me food. <laughs> Only you guys do, I'm telling you. No, Only you guys this do. Is... Hey, uh, for real, huge shout out to Postmates. I love doing these videos because it's always fun watching with Lee Smile. And he rarely smiles, man. He's in the dungeon editing literally all the time. Okay, so the flurry of news and information kind of started yesterday when NBA 2K released patch two. We all thought it was patch three. The devs even referred to it in the past as patch three, but here the official NBA 2K Twitter account says, patch update number two is now live. And they get real, real vague with the tighter defensive movements, more balanced badges and shooting, overall gameplay improvements and fixes across every game mode. And there were some simple quality of life or bugs or glitches that were patched up across the board, everywhere from the my core to the park, the overall gameplay, the my career, uh, and, and even the my league guys got some fixes. New NBA playoff mode bracket matching the start of... <laughs> Hey, it's always really fun to me just to see how little effort they try right here in My League, My GM. But it's even more hilarious to me how little they try on PC. It's almost as if they just put one person on the job. Which is hilarious, because the game is developed on PC. You'd think it would be the best version of the game. I'm actually gonna download the PC version right after this. That's probably gonna be dropping tomorrow, so I'll drop a video playing the PC version just to review it and see how that port of the game is this year. If y'all wanna see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so across the board, 2K community was pretty frustrated with this patch. Because although it did fix some nagging issues and bugs and glitches, like fix the issue where halftime would sometimes not trigger during my player builder games, nobody really cared about that. The things that people cared about, like having to wait 20 minutes to get a game on the twos, or even on the threes sometimes, that was never addressed. On top of that, 2K actually went out of their way to address some things that nobody even deemed to be an issue. For example, a lot of people, especially in the dribbling community, were asking for park dribbles to be removed from the game because it always accidentally triggered while they were dribbling. 2K's fix was to actually readjust the control, so now the L3 button, when you click down on your left stick, is what triggers your park dribble, which if you think about it for a moment is an even worse place to put the button because then it's gonna trigger way more times by accident that's besides the point a easy fix would just if you don't want park dribbles there should be a toggle where you could just turn them off so it never triggers for you the people that like them and think they look cool and would prefer for them to trigger can just keep them on but that wasn't implemented but that wasn't where it stopped though the dribbling community was even more frustrated because there were some more changes made to dribbling that weren't fully addressed here in these patch notes and 
people got onto the game and tried the game out and it hit them like a ton of bricks. Suante put out this tweet saying, patch three out now, you can spam curry slide with the 80 ball control. All a jinjitsu, some more builds are made. Time to test ankle breakers. Uh, so if you don't understand what he's saying here, now the threshold to get those pro dribble moves, cause tier one, tier two dribble moves, to get those playmaker tier two dribble moves, all it takes is the 80 ball control now. A lot of people jumped and were kind of furious about this because all the builds they made are kind of, I don't want to say useless, but they're not fully optimized anymore because everybody assumed they had needed an 85 ball control. Now we only need an 80. But I'm not too mad at the move just yet because man, every goddamn player had an 85 ball control play shot creator. Everyone had the same build. So hopefully this provides more diversity that might have been what they were trying to go for. And I do think Swante's right, you know what I'm saying? Next gen is a month away. They're probably just looking for people to create more builds here. But if you looked oh so closely at the patch notes, you might have caught this note. Reduced first step acceleration, AKA speed boost out of certain dribble moves. Uh, NBA 2K Insider put out this tweet saying, speed boosting out of certain dribble moves has been nerfed. Now you might be wondering which dribble move. The generic speed boost that the average point guard was capable of doing is now out the game. There are other speed boosts that haven't been affected that are more complicated to do that the more try hard dribblers accomplish. Those are still in the game. But I don't understand why this was a problem. And can this come from a person who doesn't ever dribble? I don't, I don't be doing the dribble. Y'all know me, I just be sitting pretty at the hash. I just click square and I make my shots, man. But I don't think nobody was complaining about speed boosting this year. I, I was actually kind of happy that NBA 2K21, the gameplay felt faster paced than 2K20. I like faster paced. But throughout the entirety of these notes here, it, it kind of felt like they were attempting to slow the game down for whatever reason. Swante says on Twitter, you're literally ruining the game. Nobody was complaining complaining about dribbling besides a speed glitch, which you didn't even fix. Why are you nerfing moves that nobody complained about? You're ruining ISO and nobody ISOs? You still haven't buffed pick dodger once. Revert. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how responsible Baluba is for these uh, patches. I know he's working on the next gen version of the game that's a month away. It might be a totally different team of people working on this. Just being honest. Cole the man puts out a tweet saying, why would you slow down dribbling and still no ankle breakers? And the conversation quickly switched to ankle breakers because that was one of the things that was promised was gonna be addressed in the previous patch, it wasn't. And then now in this patch, and it still wasn't. There has been years in 2K where ankle breakers are so OP, you can get like three or four in a possession, especially if you had takeover or a grand badge. But it's gotten to the point now where it's on the complete opposite, where like it just doesn't trigger at all and it's not even an effective badge to have on your player. Which is a shame because it's kind of like an exciting badge and it's something that belongs on the park. Swante put out a tweet asking if anyone has had ankle breakers and this is the one example that was sent in his reply, by the way. A spin move in the blacktop off a check ball triggered an ankle breaker. G-Man, fully in pain, put out this tweet saying, still no ankle breakers. <laughs> and things just began going downhill from there. Yo, if you guys stop for a moment and just think about it, how long have y'all been playing 2K? I've been playing 2K for a very long time now. It seems like even the worst 2Ks like 2K18 were just a few gameplay fixes away from either being playable or being flat out enjoyable. But it seems like this, they, they get to this point where they're like, man, all they have to do is cut the corner and the game is gonna be enjoyable. And they somehow just stop right there. And I think to myself, maybe it's because they wanna fix those things for the next game. But the same thing happens the next game. I saw it happen, man. 2K18 was an abysmal game, but I kept saying all they have to do is nerf the blow buys, snatchbacks, make the game faster paced, upgrade the servers, and make sure you fill the parks. Those are not hard things to do, man. Those are not things you have to wait an entire year, a next game to accomplish. Those are things they could have done that game cycle. Those things were not done. Gameplay was just abysmal to play. It catered to the most casual of casuals. And the art team didn't add not a bit of life to it, man. Driest game in the 2K history without a shadow of a doubt. And I feel like we've kind of reached the same point where everybody's on the same page. Like, like this could be a valid 2K, but what the f is happening where the priorities was just to nerf the speed boost that people weren't even frustrated about, first thing. Second thing, the stuff like fading that was supposed to be addressed Nobody said anything about that. In fact, I've heard from some people that it's even worse after the patch. And then on top of all of that, you, you combine all of that shenanigans with the fact that there's a, now a modded controller that 
and pathetic individuals are buying at hundreds of dollars. So for the next month and a half, they could shoot steady, consistent greens. I don't know if any of this stuff is gonna be addressed in the next patch. To be honest, I don't even know if there's going to be next patches. Think about how this patch process works, especially on consoles. NBA 2K has to develop the patch, that usually takes a few weeks, and I'm pretty sure it costs money too, maybe 10,000, 20,000, who knows. Regardless, that's nothing for 2K. But they have to submit the patch, and then both uh, Microsoft and Sony is supposed to approve the patch and make sure it's good to go. The reason those companies have to approve the patch is because if some of you guys play Rainbow Six, you might have remembered when Ubisoft dropped the patch that bricked everybody's PS4s. If you, there was a, there was a patch, and I was playing at that time, where it would break your PS4 if you weren't careful. And there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that complained about it to the point where Ubisoft spammed another patch to fix it. And then Sony was like, oh, we should probably be more strict about our approval process because there's always that possibility. The reality is the modded controller issue is not a 2K thing. That problem exists across all PlayStation products. That's something that Sony has to fix. But there is things 2K could do to limit the disaster it would be online. The main thing people have been asking for is just to remove the shot aiming. Because once you align both the shot aiming and the timing and you're doing it consistently every single time, it's automatic hits. But 2K hasn't done that yet. 2K, you should undoubtedly be reaching out to these people breaking your game and look and literally paying them on some Microsoft type stuff. Because Microsoft done this in the past. Pay them to break your game and then have them like, then it gets fixed before we have to experience it broken. Think about this for a moment because I really want to drill this home. 2K19, in my opinion, one of the greatest 2Ks of all time. And keep in mind, I'm a guy who calls it as I see it. While 2K19 was out, I remember everyone was saying the game was ass. I was trying, I was the only one going, not the only one, but I was one of the few going against the tide saying, yo, this game is valid. All it needs is what? One thing, shot contest update. Because contested shots was hitting left and right. There was no point in having a small player make your stretch, shoot over top people. And that was never fixed. One thing could have drastically changed. The, that could have made it the greatest 2K all time. Without a shadow of a doubt, I believe that to be the case. Because next to 2K16 and 11, 19 is sitting right there. So, I mean, 21 is not even close, right? I'd say it has the potential to be middle of the pack, but right now it's closer to the bottom. That's becoming more and more apparent to people as these patches come out and they're not addressing the main issues people have with the game. Uh, Phantoms put out this tweet saying, 2K is easily the most terribly ran franchise I have ever seen in my life. Glad I got to experience Prime 2K with 15, 16, and 17, because trust me, the game don't hit anymore and never will. They are so out of touch with us, they only see money. But the only reason I'm not really tripping this year is because we're gonna play next gen, right? Cause man, if we had to play this version of the game and they just made no attempt to change the main things I wanna change in the game and everybody wants to change in the game, It'd be tragic, man. Yeah, I feel like the only reason people don't view this 2K21 as bottom of the pack is because they know it has a short lifespan. And I don't even know how much support is gonna receive once the next gen version of the game comes out. So I'm saying this though, 2K, if you miss right now, right? You have to make sure that the next gen version of the game is not just valid, but it absolutely blows our minds. If we get the same experience, the same square neighborhood, parks, and then a twos and a threes, and then the cages, and then the pro-amp. There's no new thing added or innovation because Ronnie be hopping on the streams before every game launch, talking about some, wow, the ways we innovated this year. Where is the innovation this year? Y'all will claim innovation on ideas you brought back from three years ago, and then when all it takes is like a slider update or just a small polish to make sure it's refined and fun to play, that just never shows up. And I get it can be complicated because one person says something here, next person says something there. One person wants dribbling, buffed, nerfed, up. I, I, everybody wants something different. But that's your job to figure out what the community wants. And I keep saying, when everyone has to play in the same pool, there's always gonna be a group of unhappy people. The game's not the way they want it to play. So separate the people with the ranked, unranked system. And I'm not gonna go into it every video because it's pointless. But y'all pretending like the solutions for everything, all the problems that exist with 2K don't currently exist. Like other game developers and publishers don't already employ the solutions that y'all should have been done to fix some of the problems that's been nagging the game for years. Yo, 
I, I don't even think it's worth even trying on this current gen anymore. Honestly, I never thought it was. For the purposes of me playing, the only fun I'm having is on 3v3 and 5v5 Prime. Just the idea of even playing on those park servers makes me want to jump out the nearest window. Because it's brutal. Just a brutal misery to put yourself through to play on 250 millisecond ping. It is. And that misery is controlled on the Pro-Am. It's not so bad all the time. So that's what I do. That's what I've been doing. I'm gonna hop on right after this and I'm gonna play some more uh, experience to patch. But 2K, come on. These are simple things, right? And if you don't have enough people on your team, we know the solution, get more. Man, y'all acting like Scott O'Gallagher wasn't just poached and went over to EA, right? Why aren't y'all poaching other, y'all had the money to do that. Just pay them more. Promise them a better, like, ah, ah, ah. Y'all have the, look, what are y'all doing right now? You know what I mean? I, I'm telling you how to run this? Come on, man. Yo, I genuinely believe sometimes when you're so in it, like, you can't even see the bigger picture. So because we're all outside of it, we can see, like, man, what are we doing right now? But in, in the 2K, I, I could tell what they're thinking is like, well, I mean, there's Dorona, the there's, there's the next gen also, and it's like, but... There's solutions for that though. So let's not let's not present problems. We know there's solutions to and pretend like there's nothing we could do about it. 2K, you profit in the, into the deep billions on this game every single year. So don't pretend like you do not have the resources to solve all the issues this game has to offer. Just be honest with us and tell us you'd prefer not to spend that money. That's the reality of it. Hey man, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. I am gonna be playing 2K on PC tomorrow on this channel, so subscribe if y'all wanna see that. And I'm dropping an Among Us video in a few days on my second channel, subscribe for that. Uh, and I'm dropping a video about the console wars on my second channel as well. Just, I'm trying to get back into the content. I took like a week off, uh, trying to handle some stuff behind the scenes. Uh, and that'd be all, man. Thanks for watching, y'all. Appreciate it. Peace.